Hey, hello everybody. Just getting things set up now. I'm gonna take a moment. I need to right click on the source. Just to be able to blow this up right now. There we go. But I need to right click on the source. It should be video capture. And then I need to create a projector on my main screen. There we go. Um, sorry, not, not YouTube, uh, Google. Google uh shut down their hosting service yeah yeah if you had a website hosted by google it's gone just gone they they uh, the google graveyard has claimed yet another thing this year uh, let me let me see here hold, hold on let me uh let me find it uh google graveyard okay we're gonna we're gonna pull up the google graveyard uh killed by google is the web dot com is the website so let's uh Let's pull that up. It should be under top desktop. There we go. Killed by Google. All right, let's see. Uh, if, if we scroll down, we should be able to find their websites. Um, let's see, web. Uh, it's, it, it's around here somewhere, but uh, basically, um, it, it, yeah, Google killed their hosting completely. Like, so if you wanted to have uh, a website hosted on Google servers, it's gone. So it's great. Anyway, let's uh, see here. Crazy things, crazy things. All right. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody, by the way. Uh, but, but yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, you remember Google Plus? Yeah, <laughs> we all remember Google Plus. But what I'm trying to say is that... Um, when Google kills Gmail, well, Chase, um, I have a, um, like, I have my own email domain I could use. I would just need to set up uh, some kind of software to handle it, you know? <laughs> That's just the, uh, the reality of it, yeah. It said Google's starting to tighten the belt. No, no, they've been tightening the belt for years. This is not new behavior at all. Anyway, give me a second here. So, uh, uh, give me a moment. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, what I'm trying to say is, like, they've been, uh, killed by Google is, uh, a famous site because we just kind of look at everything that's, you know, been quote unquote killed by Google. Let me see. Use, uh, Proton for your important email accounts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, but we're on the switch right now. Um, I was gonna say the switch has been upstairs for for a long time now. It's been um, um, what do you call it? Uh, been hooked up to uh, the the TV in uh, the the sewing room, and so we we usually end up um, what do you call it? Uh, we usually play like Mario Kart and shit in there for funsies, but. Uh, Today, Mario Kart's out, and Wonder is in, so. Hmm. Uh, haven't played Colony Ship, no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Uh, th these personal assistants are terrible. Between Cortana and uh, Alexa does uh, Amazon spy on us. You know that things like that. It's true. It's true. Oh, it's, are you kidding me? I'm uh, I, I'm I'm drinking the Coke's of colas until uh later, and then I got the uh the, the the bottle of grape juice for later. Yeah, I as far as you all know, the the label's hidden and it's grape juice. Yes. But, uh, if I feel like it, I've got grape juice for later. Yep. Ahem. <clears throat> Let's get going. Oh, boy. One player. Ah, the Yoshis and Nabbits don't take damage. Well, that's fine and all, but, uh, if I had to pick a favorite out of this list, you know, it would probably be Daisy. J -j just saying. Peach is also good, but, uh, it, I don't know. It, de definitely options. Let's go! Okay. 
Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. It's just a short hop away from the Mushroom Kingdom. Upon receiving an invitation from Prince Falarian. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Prince of the Flower Kingdom. Who, who was that again? From the Mario movie? H hold on, hold on. Uh, Prince of Flower Kingdom. H hold on. Uh, at Luigi's Mansion 3 is one of the best video games ever made. Uh, unlike Breath of the Wild or, um, what do you call it? Un unlike Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom or any of that shit, uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 does qualify as a masterpiece. I will die on that hill. Alright, let's see here. What do we got? Ah, yes! Yes, a Prince uh, uh, Florian. H hold on, hold on, hold on. So, here, here's the deal. Like in the in the Mario Brother animated movie, um, what what do you call it? Uh, Peach. Uh, Mario thinks he's going to end up with Peach, but then, uh, as you see, uh, uh, Prince uh, Florian is in fact uh, this guy, and he ends up with Peach. You see, they have matching amulets and everything. It's true. Let's see here. It was, uh... It was from the, the 80s, I think. Yeah, it was 1986. Hold on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find it really quick. It's called... Mario Brothers The Great Rescue. But yeah, yeah. There's some deep lore with Pre uh, Prince uh, Florian. He's, uh... He, he was Peach's uh, fated uh, partner, yes. And, and that uh, that pissed off a, a whole ton of people. Uh, ho hold on, hold on. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hey, you, get back here! Uh, this is dubbed, apparently. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll mute it because uh, that that's, yeah, a thing. Hold on. Uh, let, let, me, let me see here. Ahem. <clears throat> Okay, we're, we're just gonna clip, clip to the end of the movie because uh, it's uh, pretty important. Let's see. Hold on. It, it's, we're almost there. We're almost there. To uh, There we go. Bam! See what I mean? That, that, that's the shit I'm talking about. Pr Prince Florian ends up with Peach. It's true. It's true. Yes. And, and uh, yeah, so hold on a second. Uh, the, and you see, they just go off into the sunset. Yep. So uh, when we talk about uh, Prince Florian, that that's who we're talking about. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> the Mushroom Kingdom and the Flower Kingdom have to be united, you say. Uh huh. Hmm. Anyway, anyway, that that's just some uh, some ancient lore there. Now, now you were asking about uh, Daisy. Who is Daisy? Daisy is the qu uh, princess or queen or ruler or whatever of Sasasa Sahasara land, something like that. Um, soup, uh, let's see, Mario Land Long Play. That's the best way to deal with this. Yeah, this is, this is some random uh, Mario Land Long Play on the YouTubes. Uh, pulling it up now, maybe, possibly. There we go. Okay. So, uh, this is the Game Boy Mario. And if we go to the end of, um, one of the areas, you'll see, like, you go into this little door. You, you beat the boss, you go in the door, and it's like, uh, thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy. And then, it was a bug. It, it was a lie. It, it was, it was, uh, it was a fake. Yes, and that's the entire game until the very end, when Mario learns to be a pilot and shoot cannonballs out of his plane. It is very important, deep Mario lore. But uh, as you can see, the final boss of Sahasrak whatever land was uh, was an alien, and uh, yeah, well, once the alien was defeated, then oh Daisy. Oh, Daisy, thank you, Mario. That That is the ending. And there's a big heart, so that's serious business. Yes. 
Um, that, that is indeed um, exactly what happened. Now, let's get going. So you know who Prince Florian is, and you know who uh, da Daisy is now. So uh, that there you go. Where's the, party? Uh, where's the party indeed? Yep, we, we've established it. If you weren't here for it, then, uh, you know, middle finger and all that. What a shame. Yep. There's Mario and Luigi. So exciting. Hey. Yes. But uh, when I realized that you could play as, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like two player with uh, Mario, uh, sorry, with uh, Peach and Daisy in the same party, I knew uh, immediately I was buying this game. At least I thought I was buying this game until I was warned, don't buy this game, we're buying it for you. I'm like, fair enough, okay. And there we go. So. Today we got our uh, Link Cup here. Yep. I've not played Wonder before, no. I was going to buy it, and then uh, I was uh, not so subtly warned, hey, you're getting this for Christmas, stop it. <laughs> so uh, I waited a couple months. I also got this headset for Christmas as well. Yeah. Yep, there went Bowser and the castle and everyone else. Bowser is now a castle. This this is canon. He is now the castle. This is some body horror shit if you think about it. Seriously. Imagine being transformed into a castle and then having tendrils come up out of your body. Uh, not interested in rabbits. I originally thought they were a Rayman thing, but then people were like, oh, there's a cartoon, and I know nothing about that. Yeah. <laughs> Bowser makes Robotnik look like a bitch. It's true. It's true. Was that King Bowser? How could he steal our wonder flower and our flower castle, too? I can't believe he merged with our beautiful castle like that. So awful. Bowser will make a terrible mess of the whole kingdom if we don't stop him somehow. Look, look that, that's that's the new Prince Florian. Because he couldn't be a uh, romantic rival for Mario. So they downgrade him to Caterpillar guy. Yeah. You'll help us? Thank you. That's right. Well, I'll be your guide. Whoop. There we go. Now he rides on Mario. Perfect. Perfect. I believe in you. I. Oh. Okay. The, well, the flowers believe in us at least. Yes. Yep. Yep. Peach was uh, was with that guy, Prince Florian. That's, uh, that's canon to the non-canon cartoons. Um, uh, jeez, I'm pu pulling up all the, the videos. <laughs> it, God damn it. I'm gonna go to YouTube again. Give me a sec. I'm, I'm gonna pull it up just so that I can have it, like, easily accessible. Okay, I need to go to Watch History, because I watched it, like, just a minute ago. And, uh, th yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. We, we got it on the YouTubes now. So, um, uh, let me hit the button here. There we go. That That's Prince Florian and Peach in the, uh, in the 1986 movie. Yep. It's an hour-long movie. Yep. That, that's, that's canon. Yep. 
Ahem. You think I'm joking? You, th you think I'm joking? Hold on. Yeah, it... Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go. Uh, wait. This is the starting area. You can jump. Okay, cool. So this feels a little Mario Party. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. No difficulty here. What's this? That is something I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Let's go. Let's go. I, I I did not anticipate that shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, did he, was he on my back? That was pretty cool. Onward and upward. Upward. Right. Oh, that that is brilliant. Watching those blocks just spawn in. Goomba. It's only good. No, no. Uh, the fact that there are no points in this already. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! D does she? Is that what I think it is? Mega Man X wall slides and jumps have made it into Mario game. Was that in the new one? Was that in like the new Mario Brothers stuff? Because I'm gonna be honest with you. I, um, I mostly noped out after Mario All-Stars. But, I, I see wall slides. And I question everything. Good and great. Yep, Mario run. Huh. If she looks out and pokes her, her head out is already great. Oh no! What's this? Man, you know, when I was holding this character up like this, th that this is not what I was ex like. That that was not what I was expecting, at all. At all. It says why. I don't understand. This is impressive and frightening as well. Yep. Yep. That Goomba looked well then. What? Another one. Oh, that got put into the uh, item pouch for later. That's pretty cool. Goodbye. Daisy's true form? Probably. Let's try this. Really? What? Okay, so apparently I can twirl around. Mm, refreshing. Refreshing. I have no idea. Wait, can I go down there? I see a pipe. The answer is no. Okay, let's uh, let's try jumping on these Goombas, like one after another. Super, I say. That was pretty fancy. The flowers are very happy all the time. It's funny, I see sleeping Goombas in the background. This is fairly interesting. I think that's a continue point. Hey. Hi. Hey, hi. Just extra coins, I guess. That's another one. Still don't know what those uh, purple coins do, mind you. Wait, what? Whoa. Assuming everything goes wrong. Ah! LSD, okay. Look, I, I didn't realize. Yes. Give me the purples. Got it. Oh, 
Well, Yoshi's a playable character, so, uh, you yeah, know. Is what it is, I guess. I, this is definitely, um... Definitely something. It's rather insane, actually. I'm enjoying it, but, uh... Wait, can I jump up here? Grab all those. A wonder seed. Interesting. And then it brought everything back to normal. Now, here's a real question. Could I have, um... Could I have gone and ignored the Wonder Seed and kept on going with the insane uh, stuff, or would it have uh, noped me out of that? Don't know. It would have been interesting to find out. Bye bye. I'm saying hi for the first time. Oh, exit. Okay. Bye bye is right. And a second Wonder Seed, I assume. That's the introduction to the game. Very interesting. Wait a second. She spat water from her snout at the person, and the, then their head opened up as a flower. So they're just like the mushroom people, except they're flower people. That is very, very strange. Is it astonishing to you that Mario has stayed exactly the same for like 30 years? Kind of. We've had um, we've had little side trips. What with the um, oh, what do you call it? Everything from Super Mario sixty four to uh, Super Mario Galaxy. You know these um, uh, the three D games. But it's very clear, even with Odyssey, that there is an audience specifically for the two D games. Because, you know, the the way Odyssey just kind of had those random 2D segments, it's clear that uh, continually people, um, the, the further the series goes from its roots, the more people want it back. Um, and that that's super interesting. Um, how, you know, the again, the further the game, uh, the, the franchise tries to move away, you know, we get things like uh, Paper Mario and whatnot the more it has a tendency to just snap back. And people, I mean, considering I played Super Mario All-Stars, you know, very recently, um, for the 50th thousandth time, um, it's clear the formula holds up. All right, so we got the Wonder Seeds. They're going to be really useful in the eventual. Let's go get some more. All right. Mm-hmm. So maybe Bethesda t should take notes. Well, Nintendo is willing to pivot back to its roots. Bethesda is chronically unwilling to do that. And that's fine, I guess. Give me a second here. Everything looks great so far, though. No, that difficulty is one star. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no fireworks here yet. We're we're still at 10 p.m. Brana plants. Interesting. Here we go. Hold on a second. I see that coin back there. The uh the the, the purple coin. That looks like later in the level. Very strange. Okay, so the piranha plants move along. And I can kill them with the trunk attack. That's fine. This is really strange. All of this is... Oh, hello. There we go. That's a good daisy. More importantly, fireballs. Did you know that in... Uh, the game that introduced Daisy, Super Mario Land, Mario didn't get a fire flower. He got an iron ball that he'd throw at people instead. Okay. Coins are good. More coins are also good. I'm, I'm still getting over the fact that she has a Mega Man X-style wall slide and uh, and jump. Uh, that's, that's crazy shit right there. Yeah. This is going to take a while. 
for me to uh, process. Oh no! The background. The, the Super Bowl. I am running back here, I guess. I'm assuming there's nothing here that wants to kill us. They got rid of the clock? I guess so. Mm -hmm. What are coins for? That's a very good question. In classic Mario, they'd give you uh, an extra life so if you, you got enough of them. Over there. So, so you can get so over you there. Can get over there. Yes. Good of you to know. That's kind of crazy. Plants, huh? Almost oh. as weird as talking plants. Wait, are you calling yourself weird? Walking plants, huh? Uh-huh. Almost as weird as talking plants. That's strange. So nice. So nice. All right. Walking plants, huh? Yeah, I don't know what to say about this other than it's uh, very interesting so far. Oops. Who's going to try to drop down on me? No? They just go in there? Interesting. Let's try to hit one of these with the fire flower. Hey, you did. And there are more still coming up, though. Mm hmm. 100 coin. Uh, one ups make you return to checkpoints if you die. Oh, that's cool. Makes sense. Looks like there's no end to those guys. What a shame. Oh, no. It's the uh, bizarre world again. Go up? Um, yes. They are singing. This is terror. Uh, the, the, the pipes are giant now. Oh god, it hurts. I died. Too bad. And crazy. Kotor 3 definitely didn't happen. Not even a bit. Let's see here. What else we got? Uh, is Daisy the original Princess of Hong Kong? You're thinking of Pauline. Uh, Pauline and Jumpman. Uh, Mar Mario's name was Jumpman back then. Yes. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah, insanity is true. Oh, God. Walking plants, huh? I'm just looking Almost at weird as Little plants. Daisy, and that's kind of terrifying Walking to plants, me. Huh? There we go. Yeah, he said SW Tor, uh, uh, SW Tour had promised, but it didn't end well. I mean, SW Tour had a bunch of little uh, fun missions, but uh, uh, th their representation of Darth Revan was questionable. Very questionable. Let me see here. Do -do. Mm hmm. Okay. Insane people. Got it. Okay. The actual moment-to-moment -moment gameplay is pretty good. For the most part. It was... Uh, you remember when they said SW Tour was going to be the WoW killer? Every MMO was going to be the WoW killer. The only people who were able to kill WoW was WoW itself. I want to try to get in that red pipe. I, I, I'm pretty sure that red pipe is real. But, no, it isn't. It's a lie. I, 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 the game taught me red pipe equals go to the background, so I thought it was going to happen, and it didn't. It's that simple. I will give up now. This is snappier than the new Super Mario Brothers. I mean, th th this honestly, the controls feel about on par with, um, like, the old Super Mario games. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't played the, the quote-unquote, new Super Mario Brothers. 
games. I played Super Mario 1 through 3 and Super Mario World. Then I played a bunch of 3D ones and I played nothing in between. That's the honest truth of it. This is the first 2D Mario game I've played in a long time. And by in a long time, I mean since like a couple months ago when I played the shit out of Super Mario All-Stars. I will play it again. This is scary. Okay, that red pipe is alive. Good, good. Yes. Excellent. Gotta be aware. Damn. I was hoping for better. We got it. Yeah, whenever you pick up a wonder seed, you get put into a crazy world. A place beyond uh, understanding. Let's see. Uh, Blizzard didn't kill Diablo with uh, three. Uh, but, uh, uh, like, interest waned naturally over time. It's the lack of a Diablo 4 at a decent rate. Um, things like that. Let's see. Um, uh, give me a sec. Okay, so basically, yeah. As far as, like, interest in Diablo goes, Diablo 4 actually garnered a gigantic amount of sales. It just dropped like a rock as soon as people played uh, Blizzard's horrible end game, right? The the actual end game for Diablo 4 was just awful, and uh, their plan for yearly expansions is honestly atrocious. But no, 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 Pe people, uh, people did in massive numbers hop onto Diablo 4, it's true. Um, but, uh, Diablo 3 kind of just sat there for a very long time, and yeah, plenty of alternatives emerged in the meantime. Like, it, it took them too long to release it, and once people had experienced Diablo 4's, like, core game, um, they kind of dove over to, um, what, what, what you might call it, uh, what is that, uh, thing called? Uh, they, they dove over to, um, they call it uh, alternatives like Path of Exile. Hell, there we go. We got our fireball. No, you definitely don't see that every day. Uh, now what was I saying? Whoa. Uh, how many of these exist? We're out. Okay. Let me see here. Uh, bu 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 um, well, did I ever play Shadow on the SNS? Yes, but only once a long time ago. Whereas I played Shadow Run on the Sega Genesis many, many times. The reason for that is Shadow Run for the Super Nintendo is narrative ba driven. It's based off a um, a book called Never Deal with a Dragon, whereas the um. What do you call it? Um, um, whereas the Diablo Four is um, not Diablo Four. Jeez, I, I'm getting so distracted by other uh, things. People, people yapping. It's it's good. It's a good thing. But um, um, what do you call it? Sorry, Shadowrun for the Sega Genesis. On the other hand, is based off uh, the tabletop. That is to say, it tries to replicate the tabletop on a micro level, where you are going and doing many, many different shadow runs. Um, and then, you know, there's there's a main narrative, but that is something you work towards completing, basically. Now, let's see here. You learned you can hold a button in Diablo 1 to attack without accidentally walking forward, and you like bows now? I understand. I haven't played uh, Diablo 1 in 
a, uh, in quite some time, but I think I want to do another The Hell 2 run when I have the opportunity. Oh. Yeah, I don't think uh, you should um, you should take Matt's bait. <laughs> Whoop. Let's try again. Do this. Here we go. Gonna make a jump. Wonderful. That's the second level. Good stuff. Awesome. You loved my recent video on Starfield? Good to hear. I'm um, gonna say that um, a lot of people bounced off of my main video in Starfield because they, uh, uh, they like I, I started with the, the the truth, which is I loved uh, the the 236 hours I played as Starfield, and that that uh, apparently the internet only responds to negativity, so uh, I had to explain it in a different way that made sense to uh, everybody. Even though I still enjoyed my time playing it. All right. Interesting. Daisy's head uh, moves with the uh, control stick. Like, if I do this... Yeah, her head... Uh, like, the character's head tilts. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I've got... Um, like, the Emil Pagliarulo video is kind of like the, the sequel to that. See here. All right. Let me see. Okay. Uh, let's, let's go. People sending me messages. I'm double checking a few more things. Lots of messages. Oh, jeez. What is that? That that is a squirrel shooting beets. But it's also got, like, a turtle shell on its back. I don't understand what I'm seeing here, you know what I mean? Seems a bit off and wrong. Let me see. I did a proper review and didn't uh, bury the lead. Yes, exactly. Enge engagement flopped. No, it's, it's not that engagement flopped. It's that uh, people bounced off of the video in terms of... Um, like, oh my god, you hate, you like this crap? And then, you know, like, stop watching immediately. Really funny. It is hilarious. Cool. Yeah, the, yeah, the backgrounds are cool. Um, most of this is, like, really artistic, like, well artistically styled, I would say. I, I'm, I'm fairly impressed with how effective, like, the graphics on this are. To, you know, they, they are not, um, they don't have to be hyper-realistic or detailed. They just look, uh, pretty. Any plans for a Dragon Age Origins playthrough? <laughs> okay, that's that's a difficult... Like, I like Dragon Age or Origins a lot. And I've actually played it on stream in the past. Um, the issue is that before I do something like that, I'm going to be playing... Um, what do you call it? I'm going to be doing Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 before 3, and I'm going to be doing 3. Then I'm gonna go back and not only play Neverwinter Nights, but I'm gonna be like really stupid and I'm gonna be playing tons of Neverwinter Nights modules. Kinda like how I'm um, gonna go back and play a bunch of Half-Life uh, mods. So, um, like any, any opportunity for me to actually go and play, um, what do you call it, uh, Dragon Age Origins, that's... That's going to be a little difficult with uh, all the other games I'll, I'll be playing in the meantime. Whoop. Hello. <laughs> no. Uh, well, I mean, it depends on which divinity we're talking about. All right. 
Let me see. Oh, wow. Wowie zowie indeed. Completely forgot about this. He's got a big coin! No! Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to hit the turtle shell. I'm, I'm supposed to use the turtle shell, yes. Like this. Oh, that's cool. The fact that we can still do that. Where are we now? Incredible. Let's try to make that jump. Excellent. Deviant Art Daisy, yes, it's true. True, there's, there's definitely elephants. Elephants. So many insane things in this game. Quite like it. Not sure I was ready for Elephant Daisy, but uh, that's a different matter. Okay. Let's see here. What's uh what's my resolution for 2024? Uh 1080p. Alright. Let's uh go down this one. No. No, it seems like not all red pipes are pipes that we can go down. What a shame. Okay. Um Damn. Right. Whoop. Come on. We got three of those coins. What does it do? What do they do? I need to know. Oh, that's great. Everything goes weird. Great job. You're kidding me. Those are all superstars. All of them are superstars. Wow. Incredible. That was lovely. Wait, hold on. Is this is working? Ripley. It's a level up. Okay, or a, uh, one up, I should say. That is pretty impressive. Yep. You did a hundred bucks of fireworks. That's funny. Yes. Wonder seeds just peyote. Uh, peyote. <laughs> oh no! Fantastic. Not not as good as it could have been. I like how that guy dies instantly, though. Yeah, I don't like um, Assassin's Creed very much. I try. Uh, I I kind of enjoyed the um um. I was gonna say they uh. I liked Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 for, like, the Animus Machine and the future stuff. I did not actually enjoy the, the quote-unquote, historical realism aspect of Assassin's Creed. Like, going back into the past didn't interest me so much as the possibility of the main character learning from his uh, time in the past and then using those skills in the future, right? That's, that's what I was... Um, uh, th that's what I um, was kind of uh, looking forward to in the storyline. And it's very clear they didn't want to go in that direction, so I dropped the series like a rock until Black Flag, uh, where um, it's just like one of the best pirate games ever. Yep. I only like the sci-fi stuff. That's the funny part. 
<laughs> All right. Oh ho ho, this isn't fun. The flower castle is me. I'm the flower castle. So much wonder power. I can feel myself getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Soon everything will be mine. Wa ha 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 ha. Bowser is a literal castle. That no good Bowser. I won't stand for his antics. We gotta get him somehow. And remember, remember, Prince Florian ends up with Peach. That's canon. Ahem. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Yep. Yep. Ahem. Do 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 do. Okay. Happy New Year. Yes. Let's uh, use the uh, propeller flower to catch up. Wow, that, that is a propeller flower. That feels Mega Man like. Imagine Castle Bowser just eats you and that's it. Damn, he's creating stages all over the place. That castle's turned evil, yes? Damn right it has. Ah, uh, yeah, my, the dad's castle's mine now. Hey, um, what's the, um, what, what's the, um, like the Koopa kids? Oh, well, how did they get uh, retconned with, uh, come to think of it, like, the whole Bowser Jr. thing has kind of tossed um, a wrench in that. Like, I know that there was all the Koopa kids from uh, Mario 3, right? So I'm trying to think, like, if it's a Bowser lays eggs. I know, which is, why why did one get favored? They said the kids still exist. I'm sure they do, but my question is, where do they fit into all this if we have Bowser Jr.? Nobody's going to be able to stop him now that he's all-powerful, hee-hee-hee. Hey, do you remember the Bowsette memes? Um, like, with uh, Bowser Jr.? I'm trying to remember what it's called now. Um... I'm trying to find it right now. Uh, but ah, uh, yes. Okay, I need I need to grab this. Uh, I'm gonna save a picture, and then I need to edit it slightly. Give Give me a second. They're just Koopas now. Yep, seen plenty of Daddy Koopas. Koopa kids were antagonist of the new Mario Brothers Wii. See, uh, I, I interfaced with no Mario content on the Wii, as far as I know. Uh, let's see here. Do -do -do. Yeah, Scarab, uh, thank you for the $2 array. I'm, I need to open up a uh, Photoshop. Hold on. Good. I'm opening Photoshop. Gonna take a moment. I need to edit this picture for... Uh, Sanitation purposes. Uh, ba, 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 there it is. Okay, cool. Uh, bullshit. Okay. That'll do it. It was uh, MS. Yeah. I need to open up my uh, folder here. Okay, new new picture there. Uh, ah, uh, the, the Wii was alright, yes. I, I played several games on the Wii. Absolutely did. Okay, so I've, I've gone ahead and, edit, and removed a line of text. 
But uh, this this is the Bowsette meme here. Uh, you, you may uh, uh, you may understand Bowser Jr.'s uh, 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 unhappiness there. Yeah. There there you go. With with, with the uh, with the Bowsette memes. Yep. That that was. Uh, you can see uh, Bowsette in the background there. Uh, just just a little bit over the uh, the very very sad Bowser Jr. But uh, uh, yes, that is um, that is uh, uh, unfortunate. <clears throat> the uh, the initial Bowsette memes were something else for sure. Okay, you need a new Bowsette and Mario probably. They yeah, that'd be great. Let's see here. I find another one. I, I, hey, are you guys ready for uh, re ready for uh, the the new year there? Perfect, perfect. Yes. Holy crap! <clears throat> we said the all the post uh, Super Mario sixty four games are too easy. Super Mario sixty four itself, I'd argue is way easier than Super Mario World by a giant margin. All right. Uh, it's getting worse. Uh, look at the plant coiled around there. Got it. Uh, let's use your wonder seeds. They'll fix it. They're really powerful. So this unlocks stages, basically. Yeah. That's cool. Who the heck are you? Here we go. I see a flower person. Aww. You're right. Sunshine had a few standout levels. I never owned Sunshine, but I have played it several times. I should probably think about getting it at some point soon, but uh, I, I suspect one of my friends might be able to toss me a copy. Keep this bridge safe. Bridges, lots of different effects. People will travel the Flower Kingdom like using them. Prince Florian may be so bold to accept this gift from me. Someone as princely as you would know how to use it. I, I enjoyed it when I played it, so it's, you don't have to uh, convince me. Thank you. I've always wanted to wear one of these flower hats. I can use the power of this bridge to help everybody. Excellent. And that brings the bloom to my heart, Prince Florian. I'm happy that you're pleased. Yes. Let's go. That's better than a toad house, I guess. What did you say? Hold on. What's that little flower sitting there? Ter terrifying. Favorite Mario game? Eh, probably Mario 3. If, if I had to be broad, I'd say Super Mario All-Stars. Because it's a combination of games. But, um... If I had to pick one specific game from it, it's, uh, it's kind of a toss-up between Mario 3 and Mario World. Um... Super Mario World it isn't, um, it's, it's more forgiving than 3, but not by a lot. Especially if you're going into the special stages, past the Star Road. Alright. I did get a, uh, Raccoon Mario toy, uh, little, little figurine here for, um, uh, Christmas as well. People uh, knew I liked like the classic Mario stuff. I got that at the same time as a uh, a Princess Zelda amiibo, which uh, you know it's from um, uh, Princess Zelda's. Uh, what do you call it? This is the Smash Brothers amiibo. So if we uh, were to Google uh, Zelda's hitbox, uh, I'm sure in a Google image search. Uh, uh, that 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 wouldn't come up with anything bad. 
Uh, let's see. Can't show that one. Uh, okay, th th this one will do. So uh, I'm just going to really quick. Uh, do, 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 do. There, there you go. Th th this one makes the most sense. So this is this is Zelda's hitbox from uh, Smash Brothers. Different Zelda, obviously, at this point, because this is the newer one. But um, yeah, that's uh, high high quality content right there. It's just frame data. Yep. Don't worry about it. Okay. I played uh, Wario Land um, on the Game Boy, the the first the first one, and I liked it a lot. Absolutely. Let me see. Couldn't play uh, Virtual Boy though. Virtual Boy hurts my eyes. I rented a Virtual Boy from uh, Blockbuster Video. Okay. Oh God! This area. Th this is this is Super Mario Brothers three level geometry. That's pretty cool. What is R anyway? Love it. Holy crap! I want to hear that again. Yes. See you later. See you later. Wait, can I can I do a bigger one there? Hold on. I'll try this again. Oh yeah, that's a nice glide. See you later. Excellent. Good hat stuff. I do have Mario Odyssey. I should get around to playing it at some point. Like, actually playing it, playing it. Yep. The ball drop. Um, hold on. Let's look at the hard drive article for ball drop. Uh, google.com hard drive news ball drop. Okay. Do dozens injured after a town ball drop goes awry. Yes. <laughs> Oh no, let's see here. <laughs> Hold on. Over 40 attendees of Clock Town's annual Carnival of Time were injured, some critically, when a planned ball drop event ended with an angry moon crashing down into the Metropolitan Hub, familiar looking sources confirm. Tingle, Tingle. Kololimpa, said Tingle. 35, a map salesman who witnessed the tragedy while hanging from a balloon in North Clocktown. These are the words that Tingle exclaimed when that furious heavenly body fell upon the city and blew up all of those people. The authorities aren't ready to confirm any deaths, but Tingle is. I will sell you the names of those who perished at a discount, in exchange for friendship. Workers involved in the preparations for the carnival said that the event's organizers were aware of the potential danger and had made efforts to address it. They hired an independent contractor to figure out how to stop the whole moonfall thing, said Jiro, a local carpenter. Some kid. A deco scrub, I think. He had a weird tuba thing he'd play sometimes. I remember asking, what's he gonna do, play the moon off? and a bunch of guys left. Then some other guys said, no, he's going to summon the four giants to use their very strong arms to stop the moon from falling. That was pretty embarrassing. I sure had egg on my face after that entirely reasonable explanation. Anyway, the kid apparently screwed up and the moon still fell on the city. Some clock town residents were eager to point figures at a well-known yet mysterious outsider, but the controversial figure denied any involvement. It's a terrible fate, isn't it, said the happy mask salesman, who has hosted Tamina News Network's live coverage of the Carnival of Time for eight years. The town has had successful carnival after successful carnival, with not so much as a hiccup until now. Funny, during all of those earlier carnivals, the network allowed my co-host and I to celebrate the occasion with a drink or two. This year, they ban alcohol on the broadcast, 
and look what happens, some skinny kid steals my most evil and powerful mask and sabotages the annual moon drop. It's clearly not my fault, but I'm sure I could sort this whole situation out if I had a few whiskey sours in me. At press time, the Deku scrub contractor hired to avert the disaster had returned to Clock Town brandishing its strange horn-like instrument and began playing an awkwardly arranged song. All right, that that worked out, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I'm in the special mountain time zone, which is different. Yes. My goodness. Played Nier Automata? Yes, it's one of my favorite uh, games that I don't feel the need to play again. It's, it's one of the... Uh, I, I said this earlier. There are some games which I will play. I will go, that was a great video game. One of the best. I will probably never play it again. And Nier Automata is one of those. Like, um... Even if 2B didn't have a... Uh, have massive assets to show, um, it would still be a great game. With it, with the story it has and everything. Absolutely. Let me, uh, see here. Ooh. Should be fine. Yep. Okay. There's so much to see. Right. Yep. The, we need more of those wonder seeds. Where should we go first? Uh, if you want to take a look at the map, press L. L. Wow. My cap is equipped. That's... This is... Oh, okay. Cool, so these are the levels I've been to. Nice. This is a two-star difficulty. It's a one-star difficulty. So, in other words, you should be encouraged to... Travel to areas that suit your personal, uh, uh, taste layer, I suppose. But it's, uh, break time. Hurry, hurry. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, there's lots of wonder seeds we can get. Let's go in here first. Let's go! Select the badge. Oh, yeah, the cap. So you, you change, you use different power-ups. And this one lets us do that. Not the biggest fan of uh, Fat Daisy, but I also not overly put off by it. Just kind of weird. I much prefer Standard Daisy, though. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out what button's what. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh wow! That's cool. Let me see here. Yeah, Daisy, like, Fat Daisy is just kind of weird. Not, uh, not overly enthused. Sad to say. <clears throat> How do we get down there? I have no idea what that is. Or how to travel there. Can the bull break through the blocks? Or is there some some other way? Hmm. The fact those coins come out of that means probably He's bored, bored, bored. Got it. Can she be like a raccoon? Or uh, I I know there's like a uh I know there's uh, like <clears throat> Regular peach, right? There's regular peach. And then there's, like, cat peach. But I'm going to be honest with you. Cat suit peach is a little much for me, unfortunately. Yeah. J just, uh, just a little much. Okay. Give it a try again. That ain't doing it. Not even a bit. 
Raccoon Daisy would be nice, yes. Cat Bowser. Bowsette. Yes. Yep, they break the blocks all right. Okay, I think I understand it now. Yep. Cool. We are able to kill it. Oh, booster. Yes, from uh, Super Mario RPG. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't played Super Mario, the Super Mario RPG remaster or remake or whatever. I've only played the original, but I freaking love the original. There's a good chance that the next uh, Super Smush Brothers iteration will contain um, Super Mario uh, All-Stars. Uh, sorry, not All-Stars. They just... Uh, Super Mario RPG stuff for no other reason than um, that a remake has made them uh, relevant. Feels off. off, yes. I was supposed to roll down this way, yes. Something feels off. 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 Huh? Oh no, run! What is that? Two, one. I don't understand. I don't understand any of this. Fuck, I'm dead. That was it. That was scary. Yeah. Wow. Pity Curse Uprising is my favorite. Uh, like, one of my favorite games, period. I really wish there was a way to play it presently. And by that, I mean like on a, um, on a PC or whatever. The issue with that is, um, like all the, all the quote unquote modern ways to play it, uh, don't show grind rails properly. And that's a problem. Wonderful. Cool. We got it. We missed one, but that should be fine. Ooh. The new life festival in uh, the Elder Scrolls, yes. Pretty sure that was uh, one of the holidays. Now that said, um, most of the holidays were at different times of the year. So like, uh, uh, like something in Talos wasn't done exactly at Halloween, but Elder Scrolls Online kind of rejiggers that in order to in order to have uh, in order to celebrate holidays in game. Because that's something that'll keep people coming back. All right. Let me mess with this. Right, I missed one, but I kind of want to see what this is. Here we go. Hurry, hurry. Break time, hurry, hurry. You gotta, you gotta dash. Yep, dash and go. Get to the wonder seed. What's this say? Go, go, go! Okay, fair enough. Not quite what I was expecting, but hey, whatever. Still don't know what those purple coins do. No idea. What's this? The rock fell here? 
It's terrible because of that awful Castle Bowser. If only I had 10 flower coins. Here, ha okay, we've immediately found out what the flower coins are for. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Lol. We'll break this rock in no time. Damn. Yep, money makes me stronger. True, it's true. Whole nother area. What's this? A coin. A little nowhere. Adjust the controls. Uh, right. Adjust them. How, how so? Dashing or pounding? You want to? Motion controls. Hmm. Cool. Characters. I still want to use Daisy. The fact that Black Yoshi isn't available is a travesty. I'm gonna say. Um... Jeez, got dusty. Yep. It's, um. The the Black Yoshi. Yes. There it is. Yep. Did you get a French maid outfit? Nope. Not even a bit. <clears throat> Family member uh, saw my avatar, though, and uh, gifted me these uh, headphones, which uh, we can do this. There we go. Okay. Uh, badges. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dandies. Jumping Daisy. Jumping Peach. What is? What does that even mean? You can place them anywhere. As I was here. Oh wow! I see how that works. That's pretty incredible. Mm hmm. Badges, courses. That's not too bad. Save the game. Yes. Please, too. Online makes the game too easy. Well, I don't have a Switch online account. I'm not, uh,. Wait, what? Roller Derby. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm not, uh... Too, uh... Enthused with, uh... Like, paying to use, uh... Your own internet connection on the console. That's just generally not for me. Hmm. Let me go this way... Pay to use your own internet connection. There's a reason why uh, PC players don't do that. <laughs> One of the biggest grifts that has ever been. Then again, I'm not generally a console player. The Switch is the exception to that, mostly for the party games. Mario Kart, Mario Party, Mario Golf, things like that. You said Xbox, Xbox and PlayStation both do that. And I was just like, nope. Oh, wow. Away we go. More what's to go. More what's to go. Oh, one up. You can use that one up to get up here. Amazing! Incredible! Yep. The Mario Party needs more maps. You're tired of small or larger maps. You're tired of small maps. Yeah, it makes sense. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, 
Hey, uh, I've got to say, the PlayStation 2 has, like, the best, uh, oh, what do you call it, uh, one of the best catalogs. Huge, uh, value in, uh, in the PlayStation 2 catalog. Gotta go up here. I think. Maybe. Possibly. Get some shut eye around here. No, no, you can't. Okay. You said PlayStation 1 is very good too. Here's the thing though PlayStation 2 is backwards compatible, so when I talk about um, PlayStation 2, I'm very often kind of lumping PlayStation 1 together with 2 as far as the libraries go. Since, uh, you can just play both on the uh, both games on the same console Oop. without any concessions. And when I say uh, concessions, what I mean is uh, like with uh, Xbox, for example, um, you like it, you can only really play the backwards compatible games that are that have been uh, converted essentially. So you know, not not all games are backwards compatible, and the ones that are are usually um, doing an emulation thing. Yep. Hmm. Your PS3 is backwards compatible. Yes, but PS3 also begins the unfortunate trend of um installations you see what remember i say i don't play uh consoles a whole lot with the exception of uh like the switch for party games uh there's there, there's an issue that has basically destroyed the value of the modern uh console and what it is whoop, it's the, um, the fact that when you go to, when you put a game in your disk drive, um, then, um, what do you call it? Um, it, it, what do you call it? Uh, like, you don't need to install anything. You don't need to, um, do anything. Uh, essentially, you just, you just put the disc in and play, right? Day one patches and um, installations have basically sapped the value of the console in that regard. Like, wh whereas back in the uh, PlayStation 2 era, you know, you, you basically put a disc in and then uh, you played the game. That was it. And that's where I say that consoles had added value over PCs because even back then you had to install your PC games. That was a requirement. Oh, jeez. What is that? Coins? This is crazy. It's a really cool area, though. Walking on air. Got it. Yep. That's pretty much it. No, no. Oblivion is an outlier. Oblivion is poorly programmed, and uh, the fact that it uh, runs better on a console than uh, most PCs is... Uh, it, it makes sense because they optimized it specifically for that hardware profile. But um, there are other issues. Oops, we died. There are a lot of other issues with that. <laughs> o Oblivion is just a, um, from a technical perspective, it's a poorly uh, coded game. Yep. The engine is uh, put together with uh, toothpicks and glue, unfortunately.
Wow. Got him. Neat. Need that. To be extra careful. Yep. I do like how the shells collect coins for you. That's kind of neat. Wasn't expecting that. Whoop. Damn, got my ass kicked. All right. It's annoying, too, because, like, the world um, of Elder Scrolls IV is, uh, like, in terms of level design, is really fun. Like, just, I'd argue, some of the most fun. Be careful. Look at you, walking on air. Walking on air, indeed. Need to be careful. Verge of death. So further up there. Clinky, clinky, indeed. Whoops. Got him. Whoops. Can't, can't do that. That's fine. Trying to get this. Very good. I don't think anyone can play with me. I am offline. Yes, indeed. No Nintendo subscription here. Let me see here. Do do. Feel more outside in Oblivion than a lot of games. Hmm. Oblivion's your least favorite Elder Scrolls game. I I like Oblivion. Um, in certain respects, quite a bit, but there are, like, I can't play it very often, and that's because of, whoops, um, whoa, 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 it's scary, I got it, though, oh, jeez, it's all the way up there, what was I saying, oh, yeah, yeah, um, Give myself power up. Got it. But uh, yeah, yeah. It modding capabilities. Like I, I've already played enough of. Um, like I played hundreds, if not thousands, of hours of each Elder Scrolls game to the point where it's like, okay, that was fun, but I'm done with it now. You know, I'm ready to move on. Mods are what make me come back, make me circle back around to it. Otherwise, I'd play other games. That's just the reality of it. I, I, like, there is only so much in a vanilla game that I'm going to play. And, and otherwise, I'm going to move on to other games. And, um, unfortunately, Oblivion is one of those circumstances where modding is very difficult. It doesn't, um, like, it, it becomes very crashy very quickly. That's, um, like, if you're just, if you're just kind of living off of the nostalgia of the, your, you know, your first time playing the game and you want to kind of relive that again, playing it vanilla each time, fair enough. Like, there, there's probably going to get the best experience out of Xbox uh, Oblivion, but at, at this point, I'm basically done with, um, basically done with the Elder Scrolls series in its vanilla form. I'm, you know, if it weren't for mods, I'd probably not be playing it these days. And that's not to say Elder Scrolls bad, but rather, I've already, uh, you know, it's just, it just, just already played too much of it, you know? And there's so many other games out there. So, you know, when we throw on other, you know, like, big mods where I'm running around Morrowind with Fargoth, or I'm, uh, doing Legacy of the Dragonborn in Skyrim. I've collected Wonder Seeds. Can we do something with them? Let's go where the Coiled Plant is. He wants me to... He wants me to go and break the Coiled Plant. Which makes sense. Um, uh, but what was I saying? Yeah, there, there's just so many things I can come back to, um... Daggerfall, Morrowind, or Oblivion, or Skyrim with in terms of um, 
what do you call it, in, in terms of uh, mods. He's heard uh, Camryo Rebuilt's going to expand to the Velothi Mountains area. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I can't wait to see how they handle Mournhold. I imagine they'll probably just create... I, I'm, I'm assuming they'll create an invisible wall. Imagine having to rebuild the whole city from scratch. Oof. That would be... Uh, that would be something. I know it gets debated pretty fiercely what they're going to do about Mournhold. Ahem. <clears throat> but... Um, no, it just comes down to... Uh, Preference. I mean, I play like I have access to thousands of games, and um, I don't necessarily need to. Like, I'm not missing any. That's why when people go, but um, uh, but Baldur's Gate three came out, and um, uh, also um, uh, not just Baldur's Gate. They also said, oh, uh, uh, what, what was the other ones? Um, uh, Alan Wake two. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, they listed a bunch of new games. They're like, why are you playing old games? It's like, because old games are fun. <laughs> Let me see here. All right. You said PC skill is like a scam to you? That's unfortunate, but, um, nah. I can't give you a better experience. I can just say that, um... I, I'm enjoying the experience I have, so yeah, now is what it is. You see that that slash there? Journey together, haha. -ha. Not even. Nice to meet you, Professor Connect. Anytime I want to do online play. Yes. You look at that, folks everywhere. Hint, hint. Not even a bit. Yep. You said Alan Wake sucks so hard. Well, the funny part is that. Um, Alan Wake, um, Alan Wake American Nightmare thoroughly concluded Alan Wake, um, Alan Wake's story, right? I highly recommend playing Alan Wake 1, then American Nightmare, and you'll see why they had to pretend that American Nightmare never existed when creating 2, because otherwise the story was wrapped up, there, it's done. So, uh, it's kind of funny how that works. Yeah, Daggerfall Unity has actually been complete. Um, for the past, I want to say, um, I want to say like six months, roughly. It's just that they've been testing localization. That is to say, like, turning Daggerfall into other languages. And that's what the, that's the feature they needed to finish before they were able to slap the 1.0 on it. Here we go. It's more a label than anything else. It's been fully playable for, you know, over a year now. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh no. Wowie zowie. Wowie zowie, everybody. Thanks, Momo. Oh wow, yeah. Wowie zowie. This is fine. Oh wow. got a one-up off that. This is uh, pretty cool. Yeah, tomato Goombas are, are kind of funny. I agree. Wow. No! Lost my fire flower. Oh. That's interesting. No idea. Got those coins. Yep. There is a mod for uh, ships. 
But yeah, I mean, the fact that airships exist in, um, uh, what is it called? Um, ships exist in, um, Daggerfall in general. It's only a matter of time before they add sailing and stuff like that. Yep. True. True. You want to see dungeons being more random in uh, Daggerfall Unity? Yeah, I mean, uh, changing the dungeon generation algorithm would be very interesting to see. I know for a fact someone already has a version of Daggerfall Unity that makes the dun- like, sorry, l let, me, let me rephrase that. Daggerfall Unity already has a function inside of it to reduce the size of the dungeons, make them smaller. But in theory, you could reverse that using the game's code and make a bigger dungeon. And that would be uh, super interesting. Whoop, what's that? Uh, two, one. Oh, wow. Okay, that was gonna disappear, I see. How long Nintendo will keep making Switch games? That's a very good question. I mean, I'll keep my Switch probably indefinitely because it's got, you know, yeah, what you might call it, like just a whole ton of party games, right? You know, I got got all these little cartridges here, um, like Mario Kart, Mario Party, Mario Golf, so you know, sports, so on. Like, I got access to tons and tons of party games, and that's what I, why I have um, the Switch in the first place. Uh, stuff like this, given to me as a gift, not quite the same. Okay, hold on. Uh, interesting. So, I was looking at that. I wish they'd reboot Unreal Tournament. I wish they'd give re Unreal Tournament... I wish they'd give the whole... Unreal Franchise over to Night Dive Studios. Let Night Dive do what they did with Machine Head. You know, like, spit, do a spin-off studio that only makes Unreal games. That's what I want. Desperately. In my heart of hearts. Hmm. Cool. Wow. Well, hi, indeed. Like that. Great. Wait, hold on. Great. Super. Good. Great. Wait, good. Great. Super. Damn. Good. Go okay, hold on. Good. Great. Super. Damn, it keeps hitting something. Good, great, super, damn. I was hoping to turn that into something fancy. Not gonna happen. I need to jump up that way. Do elephants eat turtles? Get up here. I, I, I jumped. Thank you. You see the way she's dripping? Her, her snout is dripping. Uh, kind of terrifying to me. Uh oh. That's better. Oh wow. Big coin. Big coin. That was terrifying to me. Whoa. We were gonna die a horrible death. This is fine. Oh no. Here we go. This is special. I need that. Wonder Seed is mine. A is right. I, I, I can't get that flower as is. I need to have it roll back over. Okay. Oh. Nice. We did it. But yes, uh, when you get a Wonder Seed, reality shifts and becomes terrifying, as you put it. 
to sprint over there. Wonderful. Vampire Bloodlines run with mods. At the very least, get the community overhaul. Definitely good. Like, it, it really fixes up, um... Fixes up Bloodlines 1. The, the community patch. Um... Bloodlines 2 is being made by Chinese Room who are the people who made the bad Amnesia games. Don't get me wrong, there are good Amnesia games too, like the original and the Bunker, but they're also bad Amnesia games, and those are made by uh, the people who are making Bloodlines 2. So it's really, really important to know that, um, well, just set your expectations properly, you know? That's all. Are there no good werewolf games? Helps to have a map. Uh, let's see. Am I enjoying the new Mario? Uh, pretty good. I've, um, I've not played the quote-unquote new Super Mario Brothers. I've literally gone from, um, I've literally gone from Super Mario, uh, All-Stars, all you know, it's a Super Mario 1 through World to, like, 3D games. And then to Wonder. So Wonder is um, is my first uh, 2D Mario game in a long, long time. Yep, flower coins is payment. Got it. What do you sell? Uh, let's see, coin reward for, uh, for defeating enemies. Uh, that's a boost badge. So we can buy Wonder Seeds. That's pretty cool. Uh, Standy Surprise. Oh. I see. An extra life, of course. Let's go buy a Wonder Seed right now. Since we can afford it, I guess. Uh, you know, that actually seems like a good idea. Let's get that boost badge. And then we'll buy the Wonder Seed. And a Standy. What do we get? Loot boxes! Swimming Daisy! Excellent. So I'm talking about. Let's buy another Standy Surprise. Too bad, Blue Yoshi. Yeah, this this really is just gotcha gambling. That without the re real money component. You want to try using a different badge? Yes. Equip it. Cool. Yep, yep. Wonder Tunes. Let's go over here to this uh, fortress first. We have to spend ten of these. Swimsuit Daisy. I mean, yeah, that's that's what we all want. Let's go. Let's go. Wiggler race? Holy crap! Wiggler! Wiggler! Daisy Wiggler! Oh god, zoom! Wow, those are tall enemies. Can't do it. Fuck! Daisy is little now. Oh, this is terrifying. Yeah, Wiggler, you go back now. Thank you for the coins. Oh, that chipmunk is scary. Wiggler's coming! I do not appreciate. This is really, really great. Holy crap. No! Wiggler's catching up! We won. 
Oh, cool. Wiggler gives it to us. Got swimsuit Mario, so it could happen. Let's, uh, let me Google really quick, uh, Super Mario Wonder Mods. Uh, here we go. Mods for Super Mario Wonder. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, Bowser and Bowser Jr. playable characters. Uh, Gooigi. No Hat Mario. Uh, Gray Yoshi. Let's see. Still looking. Uh, okay. Characters from WarioWare. Some VTubers replacing characters. Uh, Wawiji playable. Release the Sadukar! Rin Slayer, thanks. Um... How is the open world Zelda games? They were all right. They were definitely all right. Let's see here. I wouldn't say they are as great as everyone else makes them out to be, but they were fun. Yep. Uh, lots and lots of different mods, but uh, none of them are exceptional. I've only played Monster Hunter World, and I enjoyed it very much. Palico sold me on that game, though. Hmm. Now, let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, here we go. Uh, can you mod a Switch? You could mod a Switch, but chances are I'm just going to import the games onto the PC and then, and then mod them there. You ever you ever seen Breath of the Wild, the Maid of Hyrule? That's uh, this was originally an outfit made for uh, how do you call it, uh, Linkle, but then they backported it to uh, normal Link. And that is um, top quality content, as you can see. Yes, it, it's good stuff. All right. Let's go. Wiggler has been nice to us to give us the super auto mushroom badge. Triggers the effects of a super mushroom when you start a course. Wanna, want me to wear it? Maybe later. I want to go back to a previous stage for a second. I'm going to go back to this one. Yeah. Very good, very good, very good. Did you know that um, the PlayStation 4 can be modded to run Linux? It's pretty funny. Yeah, it's freaking scary. Come on. That's what I needed to do last time. Damn, that killed it. Literally. Oh no. That was stressful. That was stressful. Okay, somehow we need to get this guy up over here. We'll see. Come on. Up here, up here. No. How do we get the it up there to get this coin? I need to know. Gonna drive me crazy trying to figure it out. Go down here first. Nope. Can't do that. You are a board flower, got it. Uh, calculators can be modded to run Doom. That's their, the best uh, feature you can get, yep. Can uh, Elephant Daisy destroy a tree? Probably. 
but, uh... Actually, no, I don't think she can. Well, let's try anyway. Wowie Zowie. No, no, get back to Wowie Zowie. There we go. Now we got the... No, she, she can't... She can't destroy the trees. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Wowie Zowie. Whoop, hello. Damn. She can kill these guys, though. It's pretty funny. Wowie Zowie. Yeah. You can see that she... The, oh. Whoa! Never mind, then. I don't... A, wow. a parent. Yeah, Wow is right. Wowie Zowie, indeed. I am uh, without words for the this amazing uh, accumulation of events. Is KD Neon a De Debian-based distro? Yes, KD Neon is actually Ubuntu long-term support that has um, the GNOME. Um, r like the GNOME um, desktop environment thrown out and replaced with KDE. So, ba it, while KDE Neon gets updated frequently, it's only the um, it's only security updates for the Ubuntu, and then um, mostly 99% of the updates are just software updates for the. Uh, the KDE desktop suite. For the most part, the foundation doesn't change very much. So, uh, if you look at the, um, if you kind of look at how the, um, how these different distributions operate most of the time, uh, like, like, Ar Arch, for example. Arch updates all the freaking time to the point where you can actually break your computer uh, or like, or your installation by not updating frequently enough. Fuck. Um, because um, if you go like a couple months without updating, you you can, and then you try to update again, it will. You can actually kind of get into a state where you are trying to update to a version that you don't have the dependencies to use and it just kind of breaks. Whoop, that was pretty cool. That can happen with Arch-based distributions. Whereas, um, like Ubuntu long-term support, you, uh, you should be updating, you really should but you don't have to. Um, wow. Uh, hay is right. That hurt. Give me the fire flower. Yep. Yes. Anyway. Yeah, I can't get that seed. It's just too difficult for me. I think maybe I need to hunt the enemy. Let's go. Let's uh, run around here, little boy. I'll, I'll try again another time. Let me go check out some other stages. We're leaving. What was I saying, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um... That was one. I'm just saying that the, um... Ubuntu long-term support is just kind of a thing where you expect to, um... Oh, cool. We got another one. So there's three total. Interesting. No, no, no. Um, basically, you have a sturdy foundation that never really changes. And then above that, you have the, um... The whole, um like software suite that updates frequently all right so we need 15 of those they managed to take over the palace special treasure here called a royal seed gotta do it the uh, gotta deal with this before they use it for some evil purpose 
There are so many levels. Holy crap. What's this one? Wall jump challenge. Let's give that a try. That sounds fun. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, apparently we get a thing from this. Yes. You said what's ka Kubuntu? Um, what's the difference between Kubuntu and KD Neon? So, Kubuntu is um, a more stable and well-tested distribution. And KD Neon, uh, KD Neon is a more bleeding edge in terms of, like, the... Um, the, uh, the KDE applications, right? Both use a sturdy foundation that rarely changes, but um, basically KDE Neon beta tests for Kubuntu. So Neon gets like the, the latest um, KDE software, and after it's confirmed to be stable beyond, um, like there's multiple stages of testing, right? You get the the in development builds of uh, KD Neon, then you get the normal builds of KD Neon, then it goes to Kubuntu. That's the best way to put it. So Kubuntu is the most stable, the most tested. So if I if I were to somehow get a problem, uh, it'll be reported and fixed before it makes its way down to Kubuntu. Kubuntu is for the the casual casual users who never want to fix anything basically. You know, businesses could run on uh, Kubuntu without any issues there. Wow. That's pretty cool. Deep breaths, indeed. That's neat. Oh, I see. This is pretty fancy. What do you have to say? I, I'm sure I do've got it. But that's what I wanted. Pretty cool. Yeah! What did we get for that? Yep, we just got the badge you used. You want to wear it? Sure. That is a... Uh, let's have a look at the badges, actually. This one is you can jump straight up. That's pretty cool. This one is start a course of the mushroom. Earn coins for defeating enemies. Let's just go with the, the wall jump for now. Oh no, the underworld. This is scary. Wait, see the stars? What? Oh, the ratings, right. So in other words, like three star, two star. Cool. Well, oh, let's. What, what the hell is this? What? What? What's it? Wait, wait. Quite surprising to run into someone, huh? Nice to meet you. This is our first time meeting, right? Maybe you already know who I am. I was searching for treasure. Uh, anyone searching for me? I'm completely lost. Uh huh. Do you know where we are? I all yeah, I found 50 flower coins. Maybe you can make use of them. Cool. So I just found this little corner and it had 50 flower coins for me. Good stuff. Yeah, the playable characters are Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Yellow Toad, Blue Toad, Toadette, Yoshi, 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 and Nabbit. Unfortunately, Yoshis are not the best Yoshi, which is the, the this one right here. This is the best out of the Yoshis. As far as that, those shenanigans go, yes. 
There, there, there you go. Yes. Okay. Let's go! Daisy it is. All right, now we're gonna fight whatever this is. Making the plants go away, now we have access to the castle. I'm assuming this is where the baby is. Oh, the difficulty three. Here we go then. I do like that you can buy um, little power-ups. You don't necessarily have to do every single stage if it didn't, um, if it didn't, um, Agree with you. What am yeah. I looking at? You is right. Yeah, was what am I looking at? What was that uh that meme of the guy um uh it it was the it was they took the the fanboy pipeline and they replaced it with just the guy from the left side looking perfectly normal at each stage and then at the uh at the very end of it it goes you can't tell but he's uh, getting progressively uh he's get mentally he's getting worse every day <laughs> it's just like oh my god let me check this uh, uh someone says uh before the year ends leave a caco demon for me still looking hold on uh uh, I can't find it. I don't have access to that drive right now. I'm, uh, being, uh, super lazy. Super lazy. But, uh, yeah, it was, um... Let's see. Do do. No, I don't see it. Shame, too. It was a funny meme. It's the, uh, yeah, it was the beware the pipeline meme. Was, uh, okay. I, I've, I've got one that is suitable for streaming. A beware the pipeline meme. Uh, here we go. It's, uh, this one right here. That, that, that makes perfect sense, right? No issues there. Let me see what else we got. I'm, st I'm still looking at the uh, Beware the Pipeline memes. Yes. Okay. There's a lot of them. Holy crap. Okay, I have to go back to the main one. Ah, uh, I'm checking the Know Your Meme page for it. Okay. Yeah, the original pipeline was, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, it, 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 that was the original pipeline meme, but uh, there, there's one that has just the guy on the left go, and it, uh, it, it he's using Twitter, and it goes, you, you can't tell from uh, just looking at him, but he's becoming increasingly mentally ill, and it, it was a good meme. I, I just uh, ah, here we go. I, I, I found an altered version of it. Yep. The, or should I say, yeah, the, the, this is the one I was thinking of right there. Where you're talking about uh, new year, new mental issues, right? It's this one uh, right there. It is uh, from 2017 to 2021. Yeah, you, you can't tell from his uh, physical appearance. But he's becoming more and more mentally ill from using Twitter. There, there you go. That, that That's the one that came to mind. Um when we were talking about uh, New Year, New Me. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> we're in Bowser's Castle now. 
Uh, Jace. Good. Happy New Year. Oh, damn. Well, this is interesting. Okay. Um, Elongated Muskrat has already uh, done plenty to your favorite social media. Arguably a questionable site to begin with, but hey. Brothers. Oh, thank God these aren't the scary ones from the other uh, Mario Brothers games. Yeah, I, these guys have a nice uh, pause before uh, doing anything. Th those Hammer Brothers are easy mode compared to the ones from earlier Mario games. They'll keep their aesthetic, though. I appreciate that a lot. Unlike the elephant daisy that I am lukewarm on. Yep. Whoop. Yeah. Oh, the wonder seed. What is it going to do to this? Dry bones. D dry bones? still see walls of people uh, sucking up to elongated muskrat I mean it happens like you, you can't uh, you can't avoid it mm-hmm very good the uh, hammer brothers in the old Mario games are worse than anything uh, Dark Souls can throw at you yep He's in the Wonder Seed. Hey, indeed. Come on. This is scary. I love it. I love how this has replaced uh, Tanuki. Uh, it's giving me a warning of some sort. Wonder why. There we go. That's so cool. Listen to that music. That's the Wonder Seed. We got it. Hell yeah. Yes, uh, Quarter was a hell site before uh, Elongated Muskrat messed with it. It just became a different kind of hell site under him. That, that's it. Boss time, I assume. I assume it's boss time. Nope, not even a bit. No thanks. I do like that they give you an option for an elephant trunk. Baby Bowser. You think gonna stop me? I'll play with you. This place is mega loaded with uh, Dad's wonder power. Mm hmm. No way, you're gonna beat me. Gonna be fun to see you try. Whoa! Can I just, like, whap him? Answer is yes. Answer is very much yes. Damn. Wonder power. Okay, that's not good. Wait, what, what just happened here? I'm very confused. Why did I just get very, bi very big? 
Like, extremely huge. Oh god, he jumped in a way that was not good for me. Oh well. Okay, now he's the big. He's the big! Oh wow. I'm able to do huge jumps now. Yep, we've seen that before. This is pretty cool! Got um <laughs> giving inflation fetish, not not even a bit. Oh, that's the royal seed. They Daisy has to go collect seed. We got it. Perfect. And for those who don't know, the little guy there is uh, Prince Florian here. True. Got it. Did it. This is awesome. And so, Daisy's party reclaimed the palace. With the royal seed in hand, they send, uh, uh, set off in pursuit of Castle Bowser. Can they stop Castle Bowser? Probably not. I'll well, see you later. Yep. Yes, people act like elongated muskrat invents technologies and that he has like amazing plans for the future. Uh, but what actually has been happening is elongated muskrat is a venture capitalist. He convinces other people to spend money on his behalf and he gets people to, you know, make things for him. That's it. That That's his... Like, that, that, that's what he does. What he's always done. So, you know, when you see all these, um... Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, we're not, uh... We're not gonna say his full name. It's uh, it's kind of like, you know, uh, the, the Harry Potter franchise. Like, same deal there. We, do, we don't, uh... Well, we, we don't say the, the full name. Yeah. Yeah, you know who. Anyway. Uh, what I was saying, yeah, so he convinces other people to spend money on his behalf, and then he gets, uh, he hires people to do these things for him. Whether they're good or not, uh, whether they work out or not is, you know, subjective. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Uh, use Tesla's name to sell a product, that's funny. Uh, Happy New Year. We are 20 minutes away from New Year where I live in the mountains. But, uh, you know, that that's a different matter. All right. The Petal Isles are a beautiful place. Heart of the Mushroom uh, Flower Kingdom. Go catch up with Castle Bowser. Can't wait to see him. Oh, wow. That doesn't look like a great place to be. Petal Isles. Assuming it's already corrupted. Sure, Bowser's here. Some yeah, is that? That's him. Uh -huh. No one can get this close as long as my cloud piranhas are here. It means I can focus on gathering up all that wonder power. I've got enough to pull off a big wonder. This world will be mine. That's awful. Isn't there a way to stop him? Of course there is. The royal seed. Yep. Oh. So each royal seed takes away one piranha. Where'd that cloud piranha go? What have you done? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Yep. 
such power and all from just one royal seed. That's our answer. I have a request. It's almost too much to ask of you. Please help me find more royal seats. Our most prized treasures. We can use them to save the flower kingdom. Yeah. If we get roll, then we can reach uh, Bowser. So now we must go to the different worlds. And each world has a, uh, a, like a castle boss fight. And every castle boss fight we finish, we can uh, dispel one of those cloud piranhas. And when we've dispelled them all, we can defeat uh, Bowser. That's right. Real seed up at the top. Yay! Yay. All right. So. That is the way we're supposed to go. In fact, I think that is exactly what we're supposed to do. Here we go! And go talk to the angler. Angela Poppins' house. He's got a treasure. All the fish have been scared off by the Bowser guy. I can't get any fishing done. Uh, it's awful. We're here to help. We can stop Bowser. Once he's beaten, the fish will be back. You think that'll work? You bet. I put the bloom back in my day. Take this wonder seed. Wonder seeds are so pretty. They each have their own color. So in other words, you have to collect wonder seeds from each area. You can't just, um... You can't just accumulate wonder seeds from the beginning of the game and unlock the later levels. You have to unlock wonder seeds from each world you intend to use them on. That's what's really going on. So, like, if we look over here, we have one wonder seed, right? But if we go back to this plateau... Then the Wonder Seeds will change. Yes. Their color has changed to what? Purple? Yep. See, I have 17 Wonder Seeds here. So you can't just use the Wonder Seeds. Oh, God. Look at the difficulty on this one. Four stars and they're red. But, yeah. It looks like you can't just use the uh, Wonder Seeds from uh, earlier areas. They, they're segmented, which isn't a bad thing. Parachute cap challenge. I really don't need to do this, but uh, you won't lose any lives in badge uh, challenges even if you're defeated. You got it. Badge challenge. Do we do this? Yes. Oh, wow. Get, give me... Yes. Yes, I get that, but what I really need is this. Yes. I plan to float. I like floating. Float while in midair. Yep, you told me. Egg excellent. Egg uh, exactly, yes. Nope, not even a bit. Go. Not even a bit. It's pretty cool. I like how these challenge areas all use the Super Mario Brothers 3 aesthetic. If you look at the, uh, the blocks and how they're laid out, it's really neat. Fuck. For that one. Happy challenge. Incredible, but not wonderful. Wonderful is if you hit the top. I got the seed at least. That's not too bad. Bye bye. bye, -bye. All right. I do not need the wonder. Yeah, looks like you mastered that badge. You want me to wear it? Mm, no thanks. That's uh, I got other things to grab. Purple coins are nice though. Looks like I can accumulate purple coins. And, uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Go to the petal aisles now, maybe? Neat. Yep, so we're transitioning over to here, and we still have our purple coins. That's the main thing I was concerned about, was losing my purple coins. Like, if they were area-based, but it doesn't seem to be. Oh. Yeah, you can see, like, that's the way to uh, big old Bowser's place, assuming we defeat all the Cloud Primes, which are now colored based on the zones we need to 
get the items for. So that they're really telegraphing what you need to do. There's definitely no mystery in it, which is fine, I suppose. But um, dolphin kick challenge this way. Bowser looks like a wreck in a kid's game. Yes, he's he's fused with the castle. Look at his eyes. They got they got the swirly uh, the, the swirly colors. He he is now a castle that can alter reality. He's trying to accumulate enough. He's like you can see him sucking up the wonder power. He's going to try to alter reality and, and rule the world essentially. But he stole the flower and it fused him with the castle. He didn't intend on doing that, but that's what happened to him. So he is Flower Castle now. Very scary. Dolphin Kick Badge. What's this? Cool. Oh, the Dolphin Kick's pretty good. I can't wait to die. Let's uh, restart that course. I feel like I can do better. I'm pretty sure I can do better. Dolphin kick me to the future! Oh, oh, happy new year. Ten minutes till it's new year. I live in the mountains, so... I'm like an hour off from Pacific time. I believe dolphin kick me. What? What do you mean, what? I have the power! Supposedly. Yep, Dolphin Kick is getting me closer! I got it. There's one more coin I need now. I can see it in the front. Damn. I didn't get it. I wasn't able to get it. I was too slow. Did not dolphin kick a sufficient amount. That is unfortunate. Sounds absolutely insane, Vinyl. All right. Good form. Good, not good form. I did not get the third purple coin. Dolphin kick. Excellent. I can't wait to never use that. Would you like to use that badge now? No. No, I don't want a dolphin kick. I'm fine with that. Wow, there were, there were coins in there. Interesting. This is pretty fancy. Gotta love how the play online section is gated behind the first level. I guess it's not the first level per se, but uh, still kind of weird. Let's crack this open. What are we doing? Goodbye. He went down. Rabid Cove. Uh, Ro Robert Cove. Got it. Oh, I see. Fair enough. Fair enough, we'll restart the course. Yes. We can if I yeah, I do that with the badge. That's right. That's what we need to do. Okay, the dolphin kick badge is what we're here for. Yep. When I realized that what water was Yeah, what this was. Whoa boy. 
Is there really a turtle there? Interesting. Yeah, the dolphin kick lets you move a little faster. Should, should let me go down. Come to think of it. Yes! Dolphin kick let, let me go in there. Interesting. That's the point. I saw what was happening and I knew exactly what to do. Out we go. Dolphin kick makes sense. So if we do this, we do, no, dolphin kick did not work. What a shame. I was hoping to try. Wowie zowie. Yes. Damn it. That bird's a something, ain't it? He seems to be generating coins. What? Fireballs underwater. Wowie zowie. Okay. Yeah, it's funny how they designed this game as a four-player uh, party game. Whoop. Okay. Good. What else we doing? Dolphin kick breaks through those, of course. Can it? Can it uh, break the block? You bet it can. That's really cool. Those are the donut blocks that uh, humbled. I remember those. Oh, that's awesome. Down that enemy, you bet. Dolphin kick inside. Should work. There we go. Can I have those coins? Thanks. That's a pow block. The hell? Aww. Oh. Yeah, that works, I guess. Fun. Let's do a stump. Cool, second flo fire flower. Gotta love how fire flowers work underwater. That's always been a kind of funny point, in my opinion. It kind of made sense when it was the iron ball in uh, Super Mario Land. Less so... Um, Less so when, you know, uh, it, I guess it's always been that way in Super Mario Brothers, but still, feels off. Yep. Fireworks underwater, you bet. Hmm. That leads up, okay. I see what's going on. Happy New Year in five minutes. Yes, we are five minutes away from uh, the new year. Okay, we do have to go down. I'm following that little flower. We're doing it. Oh, wonder. What is this wonder? This is terrifying. I don't know what the challenge of this area is. Oh God, the water is on top. And this is this is out of water. The, th those cheap cheeps are, are fish out of water, literally. This is, the, yeah, th the water is up. And the water, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. So scary. Damn. The coins fall out of the water. I'm still missing one of the coins, but hey, we'll see what uh, happens here. Yeah, wonder power is always so scary in this game. As you can see. Daisy's up there. We're downing these guys. Give me your coins. Can't go up there. Gotta be careful. 
If you die in the wonder, you die for real. Yep. Today, uh, I, uh, asked, I asked a guy, uh, if he's looking forward to the new year, and he was saying, uh, that, uh, the new year wasn't, uh, uh, I, I, as long as it's nothing like the other 2020s, uh, that he's encountered so far. And I said that a good year starts at home, at which point his face became grim. And I realized his home, he did not enjoy his home life. I do hope things work out for him. All right. Let's see here. Really depends on uh, your point of view, I mean. I, uh... I will... Yeah, assuming the economy doesn't, uh, you know, fall out from under me. Um, I will probably thoroughly enjoy... Whoop, too bad. <laughs> I was gonna say, um... I will probably thoroughly enjoy 2024. Yep. Uh, back to the normal level. Yep. Oh, uh, when it comes to election years, I just make fun of people, and then they uh, they get angry and immediately assume I'm uh, I'm supporting their the uh, the other candidate when I'm actually just making fun of the person and their overemphasis on uh, things I don't care about. Yep, that's it. Damn. This is crazy. Yes, Happy New Year, everybody. The, the good times are now. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Go, you go down there. Mm -hmm. The happy is now. Ain't that the truth? Okay. Up we go. Yeah, election years bring out the crazy in people, it's true. U.S. election years, I should emphasize. Bring out the, the, the crazy in all, all the people. It's, it's amusing. In ways it shouldn't be. Alright. Let's go. I need to get in that pipe. It went in that pipe, I'm sure it went in that pipe. Okay. But yeah, any time I disparage a candidate, the immediate assumption is that I'm a supporter of their rival. The reality is I disparage all the candidates. All the time. I mean, all the time. If you have a favorite candidate, I will at some point make fun of them. Seriously. They assume you represent the opposite, yes. I will say this though, for the last two, um, the last two candidates, uh, sorry, the, the last two United States presidents, both the current one and the previous one, they have actually Sometimes committed less crimes than the average United States president, historically speaking. I'm serious. 
the la the like, the current and the previous United States president overall have committed less crimes than the average United States president has. We have a fucked up country. There's just this little, little smidgen about being convicted, right? Okay. Going with the flow. Going with the flow. Got it. Let's go. Damn. Those birds are terrifying. I'm not entirely sure how to kill them either. Kind of something. Let's go. Oh. This is the way. Careful out there. Crazy. Bird on princess crime. Wow. I mean, it's true. When you're a clown, no one takes it seriously. That is how it should be. I do not need to be taken seriously. to figure out how to get up there. Let's try going down this way. Gotta be careful. But more importantly, these donut blocks come back. Damn. I'm trying to kill this thing with the power of fire. You bet. Mm -hmm. Correct. That is absolutely correct. Don't take life too seriously. You'll never get out of it alive. Exactly. At this point... Horse clear. Robert Co. No immortality for you. Unlike uh, the Prince of the Flower Kingdom. Prince, Prince Florian, yes. That was scary. I usually stay away from birds. After that, I could use a break. Some shopping might be nice. Here, the poplin shop is across the block bridge. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. The metaverse. Remember when uh, the good series, Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, turned into the bad series called uh, Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex Season 2? And uh, they spent like... 20% of the runtime explaining how Kuze intended on uh, being nuked and then as somehow like evolving into a consciousness that it could exist on the net. All right. Hello there. Check this out. Let's see. Hi there. We're here at Poplin Shop. We sell everything. Um, our block shop is super popular. Oh, this is add blocks. Add extra platforms. May contain items. Serve other purposes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Immortality would be fun for the first 200 years or so? Yes. People die when they are killed. It's true. Let's buy the boost block. 
Let's buy the shiny. Let's buy the standee surprise. This is a loot box. What are we getting? Luigi elephant! Very good. Mm hmm. Try using a different badge? Yes. Yes, I would. I would like to try the add blocks. I want to go back to one of the earlier levels and try to add blocks, see what happens. Yep. At some point, the uh, Oblivion remaster was a thing. As in, like, when I say at some point, I mean, at some point there was um, an attempt made to negotiate it. Whether it was actually successful and they started working on it or not, we have no idea. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's the meme. Like, someone asked a uh, why. Uh, why are all the vampires rich in, um, in fantasy? And it's like, bitch, if you've lived for 300 years and you aren't at least wealthy, you should just uh, step into the sun and put yourself out of your misery at that point. Let's go! All right. the first level I'm just messing around to see if add, add block added some I see them right now yeah Come on. What a beautiful day. those are the added blocks right there those exclamation point blocks wow zowie yeah Oh, no, I'm going to try to jump up that. These are just coin blocks, then. Okay. Fair enough. Yep. That Goomba looks well, then. Okay, so what we need to do is splash water on that plant. Yes. Yeah, well, elves don't tend to be very ambitious. And that that is a plot point in uh, a lot of D&D &D stories is that humans are super ambitious because they don't live very long. So they, they feel the need to get as much done as possible in their lifetime. And I don't mean that as a, um, uh, like, it, that, that is within the context of D&D, &D, obviously not real life. Um, anyway. Whoop. I was gonna say Ar Arcanum and also um, I'm trying to remember the other uh, other show. Um, not show game. Jeez, not not just. Um, it's gonna drive me crazy trying to remember the name of it. Um, the other game. Maybe it would Dragon Age Origins, maybe? Hmm, no. Oh! Baldur's Gate, it comes up in Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Uh, at least, uh, maybe Baldur's Gate 2. Uh, but I know it comes up in Baldur's Gate. I remember that much. Like, the, the whole, uh... Humans have a tendency to be more driven. Um... To accomplish things in their lifetime than elves do. Yes, uh, Daisy squirts all over the place, as you can see. True. Yep. 
I played some Dragon's Dogma, but that was before it came out on the PC. Some humans not at all correct. Well, some water too. Thank you. My... That drum sure is useful, huh? Yep. I was gonna say, um, as far as the um, racial generalizations go, it's important to understand that they are just generalizations, right? Not every member of every race conforms specifically to uh, the biases that uh, are... Water. What, water? Okay. It's, it, it said water. I'm gonna go back and grab the water. There we go. But you can see, if you look at Daisy very closely, you can see the water dripping. Is that right there? Yeah. Drip. 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 Water. Water. There's a big exclamation point in the foreground. Crazy. Yep. Water. Mm -hmm. We are fine. So long. So long. So long. So long. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. And the bothers in Baldur's Gate 3 is the lack of recognition yeah. of power. Uh, the old campaigns you got in Baldur's Gate 2. Interesting. Yeah. Baldur's Gate 1, if I remember correctly, because again, it's been like two, uh, it was like 2002 the last time I played the game, so. Um. I think, like, I haven't uh, seriously touched the game in a long, long time. But if memory serves, like, they really do comment on your race and, uh, like, what that means in terms of, like, racial generalizations and how you either can conform to or subvert that uh, those generalizations through your gameplay. Right? You mentioned the price of Baldur's Gate 3. There's actually like an $80 edition, like it's a it's a like a special edition that um, it actually contains like all the versions of Baldur's Gate 3 on physical media. So like you get the PC version with the Xbox, the PlayStation and the like like all of it in one package and it's like 80 bucks. It, it's kind of crazy. And I'm actually looking at getting that one specifically. Ooh. Happy New Year. Let me find it. I'm curious now. Uh, give me a sec. Baldur's uh, Gate 3. Collector's Edition. Here we go. Uh, CE. Not the Collector's Edition. It's something else then. Not Digital Deluxe either. Uh, new Deluxe Edition. Let me find it. Uh, I know there is a special one. Trying to find the different uh, Baldur's Gate 3 edition. Yes. Let's have a look at the deluxe one. World map. Soundtrack. There it is. Found it. Deluxe edition. This thing looks freaking amazing. 
Let's see here. P okay, it's the PlayStation, Xbox, and uh, yeah. Two discs on the PS5, one disc on the Xbox. Uh, on the PC, there's a CD key in installer. Yeah, so uh, th there's a CD a a key and installer for uh, for the bait uh, for like PC. You get Xbox, PlayStation, all in one bundle for this, along with a freaking world map. I want that shit. I really do. Yeah, that's that's the deluxe edition. Let me let me see here. Give me a sec to look at this. Give me a sec to skim through this. Uh, yeah. Looks great though, like the collector's edition. I really, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be picking it up. Um, that one specifically, I might end up getting it on Steam or something. I'm just saying, like, that someone mentioned it being like a, a big goodie bag, like 80 bucks. I mainly want it for the PC. Uh, I, I want the uh, PC version and the world map. That's what I want. I love goodies. Yeah. And that's what I w would want. Yep. You don't think it's worth it? Yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> like, uh, mostly I would just want the uh, thing there. Yeah. We got it. Mm -hmm. What did I play in my youth? Uh, yeah, yeah, you said the, the Skyrim map. Um, so, I can't really show off the Skyrim map because it's in a weird spot. But let's, um, let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to move my phone. See, these vitamin C gummies, I don't know why they're down here. They should be upstairs. Uh, that, uh, everything's cleared off enough. Okay, so... You can see the Iliac Bay Elder Scrolls 2 map here. The Oblivion map is mostly covered up by this wall of Funko Pops, which are, you know, kind of terrible, but I, I, I personally bought these four. The uh, Urza Scarlet, Sailor Jupiter, Mercy, and Shantae. The rest of them were gifts, such as Sheogorth and Maik, right? You know, family knows that I love the Elder Scrolls, so Sheogorth and Maik were a natural. Likewise, family knows that I love uh, Castlevania, so we got uh, Trevor, um, Alucard, and Dracula back there. You know. But, um, no, Funko Pops are the, um, are, are the uh, slow death of pop culture. Uh, the, the, the slow, like, the, the deterioration of, uh, uh, of er everything we have loved. Hmm. Say if I had to pick my favorite, number two would be Ulfric Stormquack. You can see his scars there and everything. That's Ulfric Stormquack, right? Mm-hmm. And then um, my favorite, however, is uh, <clears throat> the way to Zovateno. Barrow Kitir has arrived, right? Uh, you know, Bar Barrow Bobblehead is my favorite. I think if I had to pick like one thing out of the collection which is best, it would be the Barrow Bobblehead. But um, no, I'm I'm looking at all these uh, like little things that. Uh, all right, I I know one we can uh, show off real quick. So. This is one we don't talk about. We 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 look at it but we don't speak of it. Right there. There you go. Anyway. Yep. <clears throat> it just sits right there. Serious business. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. 
But, um, yeah, I got lots of little stuff all over the place. Let me see. So, look at the Hobbit. But it's really just kind of in the way of this, uh, this King DDD. Why that's there. Okay. We're good. Hey, it's just, just a fun little place where I got all my, uh, stuff. If we pick this up, you can see my Nintendo Switch here. It's plugged into the PC right now for obvious reasons. Raisins. Yes. Anyway. That's about it. I have multiple Switch docks. I have three Switch docks, believe it or not. Um... I have uh, one switch dock here, one in uh, the sewing room. That's uh, where my wife has all her plushies. I, if you think my Funko Pops or something, you should see uh, the space that uh, my wife has for plushies. She has three bookcases full of plushies. Hmm. Anyway, uh, we have one switch dock in there, one switch dock down here, and then the third one stays in this case. As you can see, the case is full of uh, switch games. And so, if we go to like the um, um, what do you call it? Uh, if if we go like a hotel or whatever, and we want to play a game, um, because like we, we we play Mario Kart, Mario Party, and stuff like that all the time usually Mario Kart and so when that happens um, what we do is we set up the um, what would it call it um, we we have a laptop that we plug the capture card into the you know Elgato um, uh, what do you call it um, hold on let me see Elgato HD 60s the thing that I use here we plug that into the laptop, and we use the laptop as a monitor because, um, like, hotel TVs typically don't have an open HDMI port. They usually work off of, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, they, they usually work off of, uh, like, a coaxial cable connection, and they're a pain in the ass. So, um... Yeah. Let me see. Do you have a Steam Deck? No, I, I actually don't use the the Nintendo Switch as like a, a, a as like a handheld. It's all it's always docked, whether it's docked here or upstairs, you know, whatever. But I have like several laptops that all run KD Neon or or Kubuntu, really. But uh, Kubuntu uses the same desktop environment as the Steam Deck, like specifically, um, but like these are all old laptops. But an old laptop is when, once you install Linux on it, like can run modern games fairly well because it no longer has the oppressive Windows overhead that sapping its resources. It can use almost its entire hardware toward playing a game, like. Linux is the great revitalizer of low-end hardware at the end of the day. Let me see here. This is the next area. Let's do it! But no, and I because I don't play handheld games very much, I don't have a... Um, I don't have a, um, what do you call it, um, I don't have space, really, or, or a reason to do, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, these, uh, any kind of, uh, handheld gaming, which, you know, it's kind of funny because that's one of the selling points of the Switch, right, is that it's handheld, but in reality... It just keeps moving from dock to dock. It, it, we never really, um... Whoop. 
We never really let it settle, per se. Come on. Bam. What? What is... Oh, no! Daisy! Daisy, what are you doing? Look at that! Oh, my! Did the Steam Deck is a great emulation station? Yeah, but so are my laptops. Daisy blows the bubbles. Yes. An earthquake hit, where at? Whoops. Gotta be careful. On the bed and on the toilet. I don't spend a whole ton of time on the toilet, believe it or not. I have a pretty good digestive system. This place is dangerous. I'll just wait here. Not like I've got much choice. Whoop. Oh. Well, no more blowing bubbles for me. What a shame. Mm -hmm. Your brother has a Steam Deck and doesn't even go anywhere. Yeah. Japan, 7.4 magnitude, uh, multiple tsunamis. Oof. I is your house all right? You were impressed that Yakuza 0 could play at 60 FPS, max graphics at 1080p through a Steam Deck? Yeah, the Steam Deck is um, really good, but again, like a big thing to consider is that it doesn't have the, uh, the hardware issues that, um, uh, sorry, the, the um, it doesn't have the consumption that Windows does, you know, in terms of uh, CPU power. And, um, sorry, CPU power, um, and RAM specifically. Like, Windows eats a ton of that. And so, because the Steam Deck runs on Linux, it's typically not that big a deal. Howdy, Dretch, good to see ya. Oof, lost my bubbles. Got shrunk. What a shame. These things are terrifying. Okay. I'm gonna smash this. That ain't working. Dead. <laughs> Alright, the, the extra block is pretty good, but I think I'd rather have the wall climb. Yeah, let's restart the course. There. And then uh, do the wall climbing veg. That's fine. Let me see here. But yes, it is uh, good times for New Year. My goodness, let me check something. Someone said a thing. Okay, I think we're good. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be interesting to see what the what Nintendo does after the Switch. I'll say that right now. Um, whether there's a Switch 2 or whatnot. Any games you've replayed a bunch? Hmm. I mean, other than, of course, the Elder Scrolls series, which, you, you know, um, I have li literal maps... Uh, I, 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 I've, with mods specifically, I've replayed the Elder Scrolls series like an ungodly amount of times. Uh, but aside from that, um, hmm, you said you'd rather use um your laptop to stream games. Yeah, I mean, I can stream games from my laptop, um, to the um, sorry, from the desktop here to the laptop. 
It's not that big a deal. That the Steam Deck isn't useless unless you enjoy handheld games. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, th there are a lot of different uh, games that I've... Uh, I think about, like, what games have I played a billion times? Just, like, tons and tons and tons. Let's see. Um, I guess... Oh, wow, Steam isn't open right now. I'm looking at this right now, and, like, I'm noticing Steam is, uh, is shut. I'm going to open up Steam. Okay, Steam's open. Let's have a look. Games I've played a billion times. Chrono Trigger, obviously. Favorite video game of all time. It's been like five years since I played it, but it's still my favorite game of all time. Doom, Quake, Half-Life. Replayed those a ton. First-person shooters in general, the, the quote-unquote boomer shooter. Age, play, play tons of that. I, I'm still looking. Hold on. Uh, bu 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 I mean, we're not going to count live services, right? So we're not counting Final Fantasy fourteen. We're not counting World of Warcraft. We're not counting Warframe, right? We're not counting um, Path of Exile because those are all live services. But as far as like single player games that I've replayed a billion times, um, Starbound, I played a lot of. Oni Chambra Z2 Chaos and Oni Chambra Origin, played a lot of that. Uh, basically, girls in bikinis fighting uh, zombies and demons. Uh, the the idea is that um, you know, uh, vampire girls and uh, demon girls. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night and Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Both of those I played a ton of. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Still, still skimming down the list. I mean, obviously, Fallout New Vegas. But that game just begs to be replayed with all the different options you can do. For sure. Uh, let's see. Anything else? I mean, No Man's Sky uh, gets updated, so that doesn't count. Cause it's, it's like a live service. Um, let's see. Left, Left 4 Dead. Thank, thank you, Dretch. Thank you, Dretch. Left 4 Dead. I've replayed a lot of that. Specifically, Left 4 Dead and Vermintide. Yep. I can't say I did Dread Tide basically at all. But that's a different matter. All right. Let's see. Still skimming down the list. Yeah, I, I, obviously, Doom Quick Half Life. I already said those. Um, hmm. I'm still skimming down this list of games that I've uh, that I played this year, as it's a, it's a good uh, measure of what I play frequently. Uh, no, not GTA Five. I'm uh, I poked around GTA Five for a while. Play played through the campaign once, but um, no, like G GTA Five, I played a little bit online, but again, that tries to be a live service. Lol. Um, let me see here. Still skimming. So many options. Sea of Thieves is also like a live service, unfortunately. But I did enjoy that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, de definitely. You know, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, I've replayed like three times. Yeah. Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2. Let's see, anything else? Still skimming, still skimming down the list. You you bought Skyrim three times. <laughs> yeah, we, we mentioned uh, the Left 4 Dead genre, aka Left 4 Dead and Vermintide, yeah. Yeah, those I played a lot. Um, oh, you know what? Puzzle Quest, but not two, and not, uh, not the, the space version, just the original Puzzle Quest. I've replayed that like three times. It's uh, basically bejeweled, but um, you get into fights to the to the death, and, uh, and um, your your matching gems is actually getting mana to perform attacks against your opponent in the bejeweled game. Yeah. Let me see. 
Oh, you know, Star Wars Dark Forces. Dark Forces 2 Jedi Knight. Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast. Jedi Knight 3 Jedi Academy. That series. I've replayed a bunch. Yeah. Absolutely. Those are first-person shooters. For, they start off as Doom clones, and then they become their own thing later. Let's see. What else? I'm looking at the Umi Neko series, and I'm like, damn. I have, uh, I have absolutely not replayed either of those, but I, I certainly reference them a lot. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Mm -hmm. Played the Gun Vault series a fair number of times. Um, I played Mumadora Rivery Under the Moonlight twice. Oh, shit, Link to the Past, you're right. Yeah, yeah, Link Link to the Past is a game that I've uh, uh I replay I'd say like every other year. I, I get around to doing that. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Sonic uh two and three as well. Sonic two, three, and Sonic and Knuckles. That's something I've replayed a billion times. I should really replay Freedom Planet. That's like modern um a modern retake on Sonic. Okay. Time to go. Let's get back to the game before I go to sleep. It's a uh, happy new year indeed. But uh yeah, I'm I'm getting exhausted at this point. So we got to we got to keep uh, going before I uh, pass out. Okay. Cool. Give me that. Awesome. I need to get that snail. And use its shell to break that. Quite what I was expecting, but hey. It shoots. We back off. This place is dangerous. I'll just wait here. It is dangerous, it really is. Okay. That's awesome. Gotta love those coins. Let those break off, and we should be good to go. Yeah, that one almost killed me. We need that snail shell to break that. Okay. More importantly... Hello there. Going up. Hi. Oh yeah. Hello there. That is a safe point. We go back down now. Please stop. Cool. See Daisy can now blow bubbles. And it gets captured. We damp. Love to be able to go up there. Not letting me do jumps, I guess. Oh, I have to do like a power jump. That's really strange. These guys are a pain. Need to do that. Be cool if we could catch it. Yes. The bubbles. Perfect. Up, up, and away. Where's that shell gonna go? The moment I kill this thing, it's gonna respawn instantly, so be careful. As you can see, these break down pretty quick. Oof. Grim gets another uh, Grim Dawn gets another expansion next year. How are those how do those expansions work? Are they uh, continuing the main story or are they uh, telling different stories? Remember, I've only played a little bit of the base game. I've not actually, uh... Oh, damn. Well, this is something. This is 
absolutely something. The wonder power is terrifying. Yeah, wonder power is scary. We got the wonder seed. I'm gonna ask that guy what's up. He has nothing to say. That's unfortunate. We go down. Everything feels so clean now. It really is. These are platforms, by the way. The bubbles. Yep. Mm -hmm. The second is side story. Uh, that's cool. Damn. Yeah, those wonder seeds alter reality and make the levels crazy. Yay. That cleared the level. This area is locked behind. Oh, we can do it. I'm confident. Damn right. Let's go get that royal seat. Daisy needs uh, the royal seed. Oh. This is just a new area. I thought there was going to be a castle here. Oh, there is a castle here. Got this view all to myself. So yeah, we, we gotta we gotta go defeat Bowser Jr. and get the royal seed. Very important. And uh yeah, yes, so it's going to slay. Everything's good. Get a couple more buttons. Hmm. That's lovely. Let me check something else real quick. I'm trying to find a specific window. There it is. Yes. Remember everybody. This guy on screen right here is the Prince of the Flower Kingdom who appeared in the uh, in the 1986 Super Mario Brothers movie. Okay? Mario and Luigi saved the princess and the princess was uh, finally free to be with her love, Prince Florian of the Flower Kingdom. Yep. And this is him now. A little different. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit of change there, you know? And, uh, yeah, just a, just a little bit of change. We've arrived at Puff Puff Peaks. A fl Fluff Puff Peaks, sorry. Rail Seeds at the summit. This is going to be a rough trip for me. I get cold pretty easily. Uh, yes, his, his nose is screwed up, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You ever play competitive games online? Oh, sure. You know, Unreal Tournament 2004. Stuff like that. If you mean something with ranked matchmaking, then no. No, I tried that. Not for me. All right. Let's see. Yep, we gotta go up here. I assume there'll be enemies first. Oh, there's a guy I talked to first. Okay. Here we go. Did you know that Epic took down the official servers for Unreal Tournament 2004? But that you can still access them via community resources? It's cold here. Yeah, like, Epic actually took down the Unreal series off of Steam and off of their own uh, site because they don't they want any, everyone playing Fortnite. Now, it's interesting. Now that Fortnite's doing Legos, I'm kind of tempted. But before when they were doing Battle Royale, I don't give a shit about Battle Royales. So, uh we'll see. 
Maybe one of these days I'll give their Lego game a try. Who knows? Who really knows? Okay. Uh, oh, a scamp in a silly mask showed up at the summit right now. It's not safe for climbing. I'll give you a wonder seed to help. Please take back my mansion. Yes. Bowser Jr.'s behind this, no doubt. Try, try the Lego game. Don't know. We've got a wonder seed. Why do we need one? Like, isn't that subverting what we get through levels normally? No idea. Sounds dumb to me. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Do you think it's cool that you have uh, Japanese cartoon girls on your car? Honestly, markings on a car, whatever. I, I personally wouldn't put anything on mine, but, uh, you know, as long as you don't come to regret it later. Like the people who put on bumper stickers and then they try to take them off and they leave a smeary mess on the back of the car. At least with, like, license plate ho rings, um, you can kind of just uh, take it off if you decide you don't like that thing anymore. But if you're going to have a car for any number of years, it's usually a bad idea to put anything uh, permanent on it. Unless you do enjoy uh, paying to give the whole car a paint job again. Puzzling peak? No thanks. Alright. Let me see. Mm hmm. Radio. Lots of shenanigans going on in the background. Lego games, like, like Dynasty Warriors. You really have to like the source material in order to play? Oh, I wasn't... When I was talking about Legos, I was talking about like a Lego survival crafting world thing. I wasn't talking about like the Lego... Um, I wasn't talking about like Lego Star Wars where... Um, you know, it's basically just a retelling of the source material, but with um, Lego characters, right? That I, I was talking about something completely different. God, look at that wall jump challenge, too. Yep. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I like Dynasty Warriors. Let's see. Lego Worlds is basically Minecraft, but Lego? Interesting. Well, you can go ahead and link that in the uh, Link Spam channel of my Discord server, and I can check that out uh, sometime later, but... Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm exhausted right now. Let me slay. I played Yakuza 0, it was good. Let me see here. Ooh. What do we got? Persona 5? No. I played Persona 3 and 4. It's, all, it's been ages since I played 2, but if I had to pick my, a favorite, I'd say 3. Yeah. Uh, 2 is nothing, and I mean nothing like uh, 3, 4, and 5, by the way. But uh, 3 had um, a very... Uh, very compelling overall story. Let me see here. What do we got? Ooh, ooh. You think there'd be a Lego Minecraft by now? Yeah, that that's true. Minecraft has had so many little crossovers and things. The Minecraft Mega Man X was especially good. I'm impressed by that. I really, uh, I really, really wish that, uh, 
some of the newer versions of Java Minecraft had um, had some more actiony mods made for them. I'm at a point now where I have to make a choice between the older versions of Java Minecraft, which run like shit, and you can't get a proper version of sodium to run on them, or um, the newer versions of Minecraft that don't have the mods I'd want, but do have really good performance enhancing um, features for them. And so, you know, I have to choose between the two. All right. Let me see here. I guess we can try one more. Let's go do the valley. Actually, this pass. We'll try that one. It's interesting how the game is as easy or as hard as the levels you choose to go through, and not all the levels are required. Whatever that is, it does not... Yeah, it, it, it just... That, that is an interesting alternative to the fire rings that the old games had. It's snowing. It is snowing. I'm glad you figured that out. Wowie zowie indeed. That's kind of awesome, actually. Can I use my trunk to kill this thing? Let's find out. The answer is yes. Great. We're good. I don't know how we're getting out of here, but that's a different matter. Damn, it's all elephants all the time now. No bubble blowing. That nest is going to produce a new owl, isn't it? Or not. Oh. Trying to see what I can do there. But yeah, I'm getting very tired very fast. The unfortunate reality of uh, not uh, sleeping too well for the uh, last couple days. Well, at least what I figure is based on this. Let's see. So, um, I'm going to be... Probably playing Morrowind on Tuesday. That's going to be the goal. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to... Whoa, hold on. I never get bored. Usually... Um, I put this... So I, I can usually get sleep. But then I don't sleep as long as I want. And I... Um, I wake up, like, I, I'll wake up, like, an hour or two early, and that isn't too bad for one day, but then, like, after about three days, it hits a point where I'll sleep for 12 hours. It's, it, you know, and, and people have, for example, recommended melatonin, but the issue is melatonin only lasts for five hours, and it's not good to take after you've already been sleeping for like for about five hours. So, assuming I wake up, a uh, you know, three, uh, two or three hours early, then, um, well, that's not going to help. Whoop! Need to figure out how to deal with this. What does the flower say? Ever wonder where snow comes from? Yes. Do you snore? Absolutely. It's not sleep apnea, but uh, it's definitely snoring. Okay. Hmm. Waiting. Ever wonder where snow Where'd the guy go? I don't know. So he goes up there. I wonder, where there... Snow comes from. I wonder if there's a way to climb up there. Yep. 
X-Men 2 on. That's funny. The answer is usually... Um, just get productive immediately. And, uh, fuck it. And then after about uh, three days, I, uh, all over sleep. And so I'm basically at that point right now where I'm like, I'm probably gonna oversleep a bit, which won't matter. And if it did, um, the wife would wake me up for sure. She's very good at that. Medication. Oh, I don't get many visitors. Oh, wow, that guy, yep. Not, uh, not horribly keen on, uh, sleep medication, but, uh, if it ever hit a point where it felt crippling, I would probably do just that. It has not hit a point now where it is, um, like, it has not hit a point where it, like, severely impacts my life. It's just one of those cases where, um, oh, hey, I'm a little more tired than I uh, should be for the first hour or two of being awake. Okay, I'm fine now. Also, and this is this is kind of uh, difficult to explain, but I have a yes. Um, Happy New Year, everybody! What was I gonna say? Um, I have a natural disposition for sleeping at night. So, um, I'm sorry for sleeping during the day. Like I, I am nocturnal by nature, and um, what'll end up happening is I will. I will go from, uh, like, assuming there are no external factors, like, uh, like a, a rigid schedule, because, you know, every once in a while I will have those, but for the most part, I don't, so I will naturally gravitate towards sleeping um, during the day, and then my sleep pattern will kind of stabilize there. Where I will, um, uh, yeah, exactly, continue going to bed around, uh, uh, f 5 to 8 a.m., somewhere in that range, yes. That's, um, that, that's how it, uh, how I naturally would, um, operate. I am, uh, I am nocturnal by, uh, by nature, and, uh, we, if, uh, yeah, I said, uh, it's unfortunate because you have an 8 a.m. job. Yeah, I, 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 I've been there and, you know, again, ex external factors can, um, can ensure that I'm having a perfectly normal schedule. But, um, when I'm in the place I'm in right now, where I have more deadlines, less schedules, occasionally I have to be, you know, present for a meeting, but, uh, that's all done digitally now through, uh, Zoom and Slack. I mean, I, I really don't need to, uh, I don't have an office I need to go into anymore. Like, the, the, the virus finally, finally made the, um, the people give that up. They realized, oh, it's, um, it's ch cheaper than uh, we call it. it's cheaper than ever. We can just get rid of all our offices except our servers. Literally, our servers and IT people. That's all we need. Everyone else, work from home. We'll send you a laptop. That's um, that the virus does, uh, finally um, got them to accept universal uh, work from home. And so, um, it's interesting to look at. Let's try this, this ultra hard one. This is an ultra hard mission. 
We're trying the hard one. We're gonna get our asses kicked, probably. Oh, yeah. I, I see exactly why that it said this is a hard mission. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I can see why they, uh, why they did this. They, yeah, incredible. Pow, pow, pow. Damn it. That is an amazing level. I, I appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead. Princess Choice? What's that? Auto Super Mushroom. The prince will randomly select one. That is fucking funny. Uh, the dolphin kick, by the way, doesn't help at all in this stage. That's, that's really funny. Okay. Well, that was a really fun... Like, this is a fun game. Like, I have not played... Uh, like any classic Mario games since basically Super Mario World. When I say classic, I mean in the classic style. Like I haven't played the new Super Mario Brothers or the new Super Mario Brothers 2. So this is this is strictly just like it, this is brand new content for me and I'm I think it's great. Um anyway, anyway. Um do recommend so far from the uh what like 3 hours we've been playing of it. But uh, I'm going to go to sleep, and then I'm going to be um, mostly hanging out with the wife tomorrow, because, you know, New Year's. And so I will be back here playing video games, uh, probably doing Morrowind on Tuesday, a.k.a. Tomorrow, proper tomorrow. I know I, know I said... Uh, yeah, basically, all, New Year's Day, going to be hanging out with the wife. So, Tuesday the 2nd, I'm going to be, uh, I'll be online with Morrowind. Um, my plan is, on Wednesday, to get back and finish Sanctuary RPG, or at least get damn close to it. And then, on uh, Saturday, I plan to do more Morrowind again. What's in between those days? I couldn't tell you. Like what? What Thursday and Friday? I, I I have no idea right now. Like that that is entirely up in the air, and I cannot give you a proper schedule for that. But um, I'm gonna tell you that starting on the eighth, I'm going to be um less present. Like, for at least two weeks, because that's when uh, work starts up again. Uh, undisclosed, mysterious, um, not all, all explained work. Um, but I'm going to be, um, I will be less present. And uh, you'll there'll probably be a few more videos and a few less streams as a result of that. Because videos can be done in bits and pieces as opposed to streams which have to be I have to be present for all the time if that makes sense so um yeah vi videos I can do in bits and pieces streams I have to actually be here for um anyway 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 um uh, happy new year everybody I'm taking off um Morrowind on the 2nd bye everybody <laughs>